Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Thursday, Memorial of St. Charles Luanga and Companions Martyr. Let us include in our Holy Mass the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Luisito and Alejandria Guma Felix. For the birthday thanksgiving of Engineer Noel Gomez, Dan Alderite, Cecil Bernas, Maria Bernadette Mabi M. Castro, Father Pete Sichon, Ethan Guenabajo, Brother Arnel Manarang, Rafael Capati. For the special intentions of Engineer Richard and Zarla Valencia, Danilo and Zenaida Maniti and family, Leticia Wu and family, Lynette David Nukum, Jimmy and Indai Santo Domingo, Joy Espino and family, Bernie Baby Henson and family, Rosana Reyes, Amor Carmelita Bautista, Willie and Jojo Hamoy, Vic and Del David and family, Eleanor Ventura, Phil Janet Castro and family. For the good health, speedy recovery and healing of Feliciano Torno, Jennifer Manarang Canlas, Teresita Sunga, Trisha Nicole Sunga, Zia Rizi Theon Uy, Maricel Sunga, Grace Manansala de Jesus, Josdado Katahan and family, Romeo Pilinga Jr., Menyang Berber, Virgie Cesar, Joan Liwanag Mendoza, Catherine Kayanan, Maria Fe Tulabut, Alvin Maniti, Riolandi Sunga, Zaira Angeli Sunga, Zivrid Uy, Rika May Angeles, Claire Janelle Purisima, Paul Wesley Nicholas, Courtney Macy Paule Villarba, Ricardo L. Cruz, Monica Ponce, Helen Ponce, Nerisa Mendoza, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Roman Siron, first death anniversary, Federico Edi Macalino, Domingo Meneses, Rolando Sunglao, Sunny Popoy, Glenn Kizon, Edgardo, Linda Di Malanta, Pablito Maliari, Father Jason V. Miranda, Alex Resurrection, Narciso Canlas, Miriam Gonzalez, Democrito Ison, Emilia T. Reyes, Dolores Pasion Manalo, Father Marius Roque, Ponciano de Jesus, Nestor Evangelista, Raymundo and Luceria Macalino, Corazon Ginto Balboa, Andrew Gochanun Jr., Magdalena Ferrer, Wenceslao P. Dizon Sr., Oliver and Emerito Maniago, Bernadette P. Ching, Henedina Coronel Maglalang, Edelmira Injonco Castaneda, Magno and Francisca Hipolito, Erlinda Kulala, Maymay Gonzalez, Martin Angeles, Carmen Chatuico, Loida Percy Agustin, Rodolfo Rudy Ponce, 
Fred Suarez, and all poor souls in purgatory. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Good evening, Pope. Good evening, Po Amo. Let us celebrate this Mass in the name of our love for God with all our mind, with all our strength, with all our soul, but also to love our neighbor the way we love ourselves. My dear friends, for the times that we have failed, for the times that we have sinned, when we categorize our love, capacity to, ab to abhor other people, we fail to become good Christians and followers of Christ. For our hatred, for our anger, for our unforgiveness, we ask the Lord for pardon. Together we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. I invite you to remember your prayer intention, your petition in our Mass. O oh God, whose providence never fails in this design. Keep from us, we humbly beseech you, that all might harm us and grant that the works of our good, of our works, and grant that all the works for you are good. And we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of Tobit. When the angel Raphael and Tobiah had entered Media and were getting close to Ekbatana, Raphael said to the boy, Tobiah, my brother. He replied, Here I am. He said, Tonight we must stay with Raguel, who is a relative of yours. He has a daughter named Sarah. So he brought him to the house of Raguel, whom they found seated by his courtyard gate. They greeted him first. He said to them, Greetings to you too, brothers. Good health to you and welcome. And he brought them into his home. Raguel slaughtered a ram from the flock and gave them a cordial reception. When they had bathed and reclined to it, Tobiah said to Raphael, Brother Azariah, ask Raguel to let me marry my kinswoman, Sarah. Raguel overheard the words. So he said to the boy, Eat and drink and be merry tonight, for no man is more entitled to marry my daughter, Sarah, than you, brother. 
Besides, not even I have the right to give her to anyone but you. Because you are my closest relative. But I will explain the situation to you very frankly. I have given her in marriage to seven men, all of whom were kinsmen of ours, and all died on the very night they approached her. But now, son, eat and drink. I am sure the Lord will look after you both. Tobiah answered, I will eat or drink nothing until you set aside what belongs to me. Raguel said to him, I will do it. She is yours according to the decree of the book of Moses. Your marriage to her has been decided in heaven. Take your kinswoman. From now on, you are her love and she is your beloved. She is yours today and ever after. And tonight, son, may the Lord of heaven prosper your both. May he grant you mercy and peace. Then Raguel called his daughter Sarah, and she came to him. He took her by the hand and gave her to Tobiah with the words, Take her according to the law. According to the decree written in the book of Moses, she is your wife. Take her and bring her back safely to your father. And may the God of heaven grant both of you peace and prosperity. Raguel then called Sarah's mother and told her to bring a scroll so that the so that he might draw up a marriage contract stating that he gave Sarah to Tobiah as his wife according to the decree of the Messiah law. Her mother brought the scroll and Raguel drew up the contract to which they affixed their seals. Afterward, they began to eat and drink. Later, Raguel called his wife Edna and said, my love, prepare the other bedroom and bring the girl there. She went and made the bed in the room, as she was told, and brought the girl there. After she had cried over her, she wiped away the tears and said, Be brave, my daughter. May the Lord grant you joy in place of your grief. Courage, my daughter. Then she left. When the girl's parents left the bedroom and closed the door behind them, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, My love, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. She got up and they started to pray and beg that deliverance might be theirs. And they began to say, Blessed are you, O God, our fathers. Praise be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam, and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from this, two human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said, together, Amen, Amen, and went to bed for the night. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, Blessed are those who fear the Lord. 
Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Let us all stand in honor of the Holy Gospel. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to light through the Gospel. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you o lord one of the scribes came to jesus and asked him which is the first of all the commandments jesus replied the first is this hear o israel the lord our god is lord alone you shall love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher. You are right in saying, he is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart and with all your understanding, and with all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than any burnt offering and sacrifices and when jesus saw the answer with understanding he said to him you are not far from the kingdom of god and no one dared to ask him any more questions my dear friends the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. First things first. Mauna muna ang dapat mauna. Bago lahat, I'd like to give a Bible trivia. Did you know that the Gospel today, Jesus was only quoting from the great Shema of the Jewish faith. Yung mga Hudyo, meron po silang uh, nakalagay dito parang tataka kayo parang kahon siya kahon meron silang parang uh, headband nandito yon parang malit na kahon parang it's a box of uh, na may laman at yung laman nun, yung laman nun itong nakalagay dito sa Deuteronomy 6 to 5 nang galing ang sinabi ni Jesus that is the great schema. Memorize po nila ito. Mahaba po ng konting ang version. But the shorter version, 
to love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Pero dinugtungan pa ni Jesus from another biblical Old Testament, Leviticus chapter 19, 18. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Tinatanong lang, which is the greatest commandment? Isa lang. To love God with all that you have. Pero dinugtong niya, which is very revolutionary in our Christian faith. But you shall also love your neighbor as you love yourself. Pwede kasi to love God with all your heart and with all your strength, with all your soul and all your heart. Period. Nangyayari po yan. Mahal ko ang Diyos pero kalaban kita. Mahal ko ang Diyos pero kaaway kita. Mahal ko ang Diyos pero I can commit violence in the name of my God. Jesus integrated the two and made them one. And they call this the greatest commandment. In fact, even in Matthew, Matthew placed a very important remark in between. Sabi ni Matthew, not from this gospel, and the second is like it. Yung ikalawa, kamukha na una. As you love God, ganyan din ang pagmamahal mo sa kapwa mo at pagmamahal mo sa sarili mo. Another background from the gospel. Alam niyo po ang tanong na ito is a very scholarly question that could really test you if you know your faith. Kasi po, the greatest commandment, sa totoo lang, ang dami-dami ng commandments, ang dami-dami ng precepts, ang dami-daming kautusan. Di ba po may sampung kautusan, ten commandments? Tapos, the Jewish faith ramified, ramified, dinagdagan ng qualification, dinagdagan ng maraming maraming uh, prohibitions and other other insertions of applications of the law kaya naging more than 300 yata if I'm not mistaken no, hindi na po ako masyado sigurado sa pinag-aralan ko sa theology parang there are more than 300 positive precepts and there are another 400 negative precepts ano po yun? yung positive, you shall do this. Yung more than 400 negative precept, you should not do this. Kaya, kunyari, isang batas lang. You shall be holy on Sabbath day. You should not work. Anong work? I-define nila yon. Yung pinakain mo yung baka, work. Yung kumuha ka ng pagkain dyan sa, sa yung mga tinanim, it's work. It's work. So parang they ramified it. Sabi nga nung kaibigan ko, may kaibigan ako, pangalan niya JM. Mabuti pang Diyos, sampu lang yung utos. Yung nanay ko, ang utos niya. It's just like the Jewish, naging 800 or more than 700. No? Kaya nga po kumisan, mga bata, ginagamit nila yun. <laughs> Totoo naman, from the commandments of Moses, Jesus, uh, God, to Moses, sampu lang. But because we ramify too much, sometimes it blurs the point. Kaya ganda ng sagot ni Jesus from more than 700 commandments. But this is the greatest. To love God and to love your neighbor as yourself. Mayroon pong isang libro. Ang pangalan ng nagsulat, Stephen Covey. Namatay na po si Stephen Covey. But isa guru in management. Mayroon siyang sumigat na libro. Ang pangalan ng libro, Seven hi, uh, Habits of Highly Effective People. Yung number three habit niya, number three, yung title ng ating, ng ating, uh, ng ating uh, homily. First, ang sabi niya, one habit, put first things first. You na muna muna ang dapat mauna at susunod na lang yung iba. Kaya lang, I would just read the actual summary of Stephen Covey's work. Eliminate energy and time-wasting tendencies by focusing and executing on the team's wildly important goals with a weekly planning and cadence. You na muna muna ang mahalaga at saka na lang yung susunod. Everything will follow. Isang example na inisip ko dito, may isang teacher. May isang teacher. 
may dala siyang malaking jar. Malaking lalagyan ng clear na bote. Yung parang ginagamit natin ng malalaking lalagyan na bote. Tapos ginawa ng teacher, naglagay siya ng malalaking bato. Malalaking bato. Nung napuno na yung bato, nga sa taas, sabi niya, sa palagay niyo, puno na bato? No? Kasi ang lalaki ng mga bato. Sabi, niya, sabi ng mga estudyante, yes sir, it's already filled up. Hindi pa, sabi niya. Kumuha siya ng pebbles, pebbles, pebbles. Malilit ng bato. Dilagay niya, mga pebbles. Tapos, ginanya niya. O, oh, ano, puno na bato? Yes sir, it's already filled up. Oh, puno na nga naman, di ba? Tapos, ang professor, ginawa niya. Kumuha siya ng buhangin. Very fine sand. Dilagay niya yung very fine sand, yung mapinong-mapinong ma buhangin. Tapos, isikti, a little bit. Bang, napuno pa rin ng maraming buhangin. And then, nabigla yung mga sudyante, my students, is this filled up? Yes, sir, it's already filled up, obviously. Hindi pa rin. Kumuha siya ng ano, liquid, liquid material. Lagdagay siya ng beer, beer. Dinagay na ng beer. Yung isa, wine, wine, wine. Napuno pa rin. The, the sun absorb the beer and the wine. Ba? O, puno na ba? Yes, puno na, sabi niya. Ganyan ang buhay natin. Iyon na muna yung malalaki. Pamilya, your good health, your God, your faith, your principles, your big commitments. Tapos siguro, maybe your social life, your friends, maybe things you want to buy, you people siya. And then, pag mayroon pa, ilagay mo na yung sun. Yung sun. Gusto mong yung details. Gusto mong mag-Facebook o mag-social, social, ano, anong mga small details. And if you have done that, sabi niya, then you can enjoy your beer and you can have your wine. You can enjoy life. Pwedeng tubig din. Pero binaligtad niya. Pero kung pinuno ko na ito ng buhangin, palagay mo, malalagay mo ba yung mga bato? Kung pinuno mo na ng pebbles, palagay mo, mapupuno mo na pang malalagay mo ba yung malalaking bato? Pag pinuno mo na ng tubig, o kaya beer, o kaya wine, palagay mo, mapupun, malalagay pa yung malalaking bato? Hindi na. Kaya nga, balik tayo sa homily natin, no? At yung sinabi ni Stephen Covey, first things first. Yun na muna daw, tat, ang dapat, yun na. Birthday ng anak mo, yun na mo yung birthday ng anak mo. May sakit ang tatay mo, yun na muna ang sakit ng tatay mo. May sakit ka sa, sa katawan mo, magpa-check up ka muna bago ka magtuloy sa trabaho mo. First things first. And even in our life, it should be like that. Kung nauna ang ibang bagay kaysa sa mabuting bagay, nawawala na tayo ng oras. Una muna ang kabutihan. Yun na muna muna ang Diyos. Yun na muna ang pamilya. Ang pagmamahal sa ating kapwa. Everything will follow soon. And then it will naturally be really be flowing. Nakakalungkot kung minsan we have that duality mentality. Because good leaders integrate. Good leaders make us focus. Because this teachings of Jesus, for me, is the most fundamental, most basic of Christian life. Before we launch any undertaking or any project, meron tayong community pantry. Pinaparepare pinapa natin ang simbahan natin konti-konti. Meron tayong activity sa parokya. Lahat yan, ang pundasyon yan dahil mahal natin ang Diyos at mahal natin ang kapwa. Kung ang project na ito, nagiging kasalanan natin, nag-away-away tayo, o sa project na ito, eh, nakalimutan natin para sa Diyos, then everything is, is wasted. With these two commandments, we will never go to war or racial discrimination, violence, and crime. Tignan nyo to. When you love God, 
with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your soul, with all your mind, and you love your neighbor as yourself, palagay nyo, magkakagera pa ba? Palagay nyo, magkakaroon ba ba lang violence and war? It, it is very difficult to imagine because ang mundo ngayon, meron silang tinatawag na duality of mindset. It is broken, it is divided, it is fractured and different. We are separating. We are chosen ones of Israel and we are separated from others. The split-level Christianity, sabi nga ni Father Bulataw, a Jesuit. Parang iba yung buhay mo sa tindahan, iba yung buhay mo sa simbahan. Iba yung buhay mo sa negosyo, iba yung buhay mo pag nagdarasal ka. Dapat iisa lamang. Dapat pare-pareho lamang. Iba yung buhay mo pag nakaharap ka sa tao, iba yung buhay mo pag ikaw lang mag -isa. It should be one. It's called integrity, not dichotomy. Ang tawag ko misan dyan, othering, othering, other. You are another person. Total othering as totally different, not the same. Not, not, nothing to do with them and nothing to express our compassion. Iba kami sa inyo. Iba kayo sa amin. Iba tayo sa kanila. Parang others ka naman, di ba? Those kind of expressions separate us and they are not Christian after all. Misan po, mayroong isang uh, turista, pumasyal sa isang uh, konbento ng mga monks. Eh yung mga konbento, mayroon pong malaking-malaking pader. Nagtatrabaho doon yung mga monks. Dumating po yung bisitang turista. Tapos sabi ng turista, sa, sa abot, yung pinakamatas ng, uh, mita, pinakamatas na sa mga leader ng mga monks, sabi niya, Oh, your monks are building a wall. They are building up a wall. Gumagawa sila ng pader, ha? Sabi ng obot, no, 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 no. They, they are not building a wall. They are destroying the wall. Oh, they are destroying the wall? Yes. Sabi. So that we can see the sunrise in the morning. Tinatanggal namin ang pader para makikita natin ang bagong araw, araw-araw, pag umaga. Sometimes this gospel also teaches us to destroy the wall that separates us from one another. To destroy the wall that creates sin between us. Only for us to celebrate that we are one in our God, in one another, in ourselves. May God bless us. May we always put first things first. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. Let our prayers today show that we love the Lord, our God, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind and strength. Let our prayers show that we love our neighbors and respect and reverence ourselves. For every prayer we shall answer, Lord, fill us with your love. Lord, fill us with your love. That the church may never cease to proclaim love of God and neighbor as the heart of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your love. That we may never forget to show compassion to those who are underprivileged, unwanted, and unloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your love. That we may treat every person with kindness and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your love. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your love. That Christ may bring to His eternal kingdom our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your love. In silence, let us offer to the Lord our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, make us worthy of your call. 
Give us the grace to live out this commandment of love in word and deed. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with your offerings of sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our Praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us your salvation in Christ our Lord. And so, with the company of choirs of angels, we praise you and with great joy we proclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the known eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Torrentino, our Bishop, and all the clergy, and all those who serve you in our church, especially here in our parish at the Holy Cross. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs in our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us pray with Jesus. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The love, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we share with one another the love for God and our love for one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. I love you and desire to receive you in holy communion. At this moment, I cannot receive you in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Come then spiritually and dwell in my heart. I embrace you and unite myself totally to you. May I never be separated from you. Amen. Psalm 91, you shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the plague that ravages at noon. A prayer for persons suffering from the coronavirus. Merciful God, hear our fervent prayer for all who suffer from the coronavirus. May those who are infected receive the proper treatment and the comfort of your healing presence. May their caregivers, families, and neighbors be shielded from the onslaught of this virus. Give comfort and solace to those who grieve the loss of loved ones. Protect and guide those who strive to find a cure that their work may conquer the disease and restore communities to wholeness and health. Help us to rise above fear. We ask this through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes, in the name of your Son, Jesus, in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, may also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you, loved ones and family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered. Let us put first things first. To love God first, to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Thank you. 